Smoke, fire, usually a cause for alarm, but these fires were started on purpose by the ecological experts at Fort Benning's forestry branch. A prescribed burn is a burn that is intentionally set within a set of guidelines and parameters, mainly weather parameters, and we try to manage our smoke more than anything about where it's going and where it's going to end up at. Prescribed burning is important because it rids the forest of the fuel with which wildfires start. But these areas are where soldiers train, so certain things need to be taken into account, especially since now Fort Benning has tanks. We do have a lot more structures in the woods, uh, new training areas and several new upgrades to the ranges. We really have not seen a whole lot of impacts with uh, the armor school moving in. Uh, it's pretty much business as usual. One of the most important things to keep in mind besides maintaining training areas is making sure to preserve and protect our endangered species, like the red cockaded woodpecker. Looking in the background, there's an RCW tree, which is a double banded white tree. They are, they are an endangered species and we are actually protecting those trees to uh, keep a fire from burning them up. While the smoke may be agitating during the burning season, which is generally December to May, it's much better than the catastrophic effects of a wildfire burning out of control. When I came here, we were averaging around 500 wildfires per year, and we burn around 30,000 acres per year. And over the last 10 to 12 years, we have less than 100 wildfires per year. So with all the training that goes on on Benning, there's a high likelihood of wildfires being started by pyrotechnics, big gun ranges, ammunition, stuff like that. So we would rather burn it under a prescription versus it burning under a wildfire. With an eye toward wildlife and training, prescribed burning is a necessary step in keeping Fort Benning's forests safe and healthy. Nicole Randall, Fort Benning TV.